Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a product review about the Flora Bella Boutique Satin Bonnets. <laughs> okay, so this bonnet was sent to me months ago, months and months and months ago. I've had this forever and I'm going to show you a little bit about when I first received it and then we'll get into the review. Um, the bonnet comes in this cute uh, plastic paper. So I got a black and pink bonnet and it is reversible. Um, it is really soft. Like I, this feels so soft. Like this is a true um, satin, satin bonnet. Um, the uh, stitching looks good. You know, I'm seeing that the stitching looks pretty good. On the um, black side, it's invisible, but on the pink side, you can see the stitching. The uh, tension in the band seems like it's good and firm. Um, so the elastic seems good. Um, and I got a little personalized card in here. Janelle, thanks so much for allowing me to send my product to you. I hope you enjoy it. Crystal Cologne. Yeah, thank you so much, Crystal. I've mentioned this before that when I get contacted by companies to do a product review, I always appreciate a good note because you know, you're not getting paid to do it. Well, some companies don't pay. So the least that they could do is send you like a thank you to show some gratitude. So um, this is my first time putting it on. Um, the tension feels really good around the head. And there's space up here, lots of space. So if you go to bed in a big afro or something, you'll definitely have the space to put your hair underneath. So as you can see, I still have the bonnet and I absolutely love it and use it just about every single day. Um, this bonnet is so soft and it is real satin. Like this is not that um, nylon bonnet that you get at the beauty supply store. This is a high quality satin bonnet. It is double sided and it's also double lined so there's a distinct separation between the pink fabric and also the black fabric um this bonnet is custom made by the founder of florabella boutique her name is crystal and she is awesome she's a delightful spirit and she um is so sweet and so um giving and just so supportive of me and my channel but i never thought about it when I would go to the beauty supply store and I would get a bonnet. I always would say satin all the time, but I never realized that they were actually nylon and um, or polyester or something like that. I never realized that like they were different and that the fabric was different and that the quality was different until I had received this. And when I received this, I immediately could tell that the fibers were so much more thicker and um, it, this, this was so much more durable and the bonds that this was made of is so much more um, of, a, of a better quality. Like just the, the, the sheen from this bonnet, you can see that this is just of a better material all together. This shine, I mean, it's such it's such a beautiful shine and it's so soft, it's so smooth and because this is actual real satin, your hair benefits greatly from this material. And since I've been using this product, I found that moisturizing daily, I do not have to do. Uh, and I actually got a lot of questions from people about how often do I moisturize or, you know, do they, do I need to, do I moisturize um, often? And I tell people, you know, for me and my hair, I don't have to moisturize daily. I know people who spray their hair with water every single day and moisturize every single day and I don't have to. And I would forget to mention that outside of my hair regimen which with, with products that the bonnet that I used was of real satin. 
And so uh, my failure to tell people that probably led them to be questioned, but how is it possible that she moisturizes her hair so few? But it's, it's, it has to be because of the products that I use, the way that I moisturize, but then also in addition to that, my nighttime routine with my satin bonnet. It is extremely big. It is so spacious. I obviously don't have as much hair as I used to have before, but when I had a big afro, I didn't have to twist my hair and it could fit under this. When I wore a weave, I I had several months of wearing weaves and extensions that you may have noticed on my channel if you were around then. I wore the same bonnet and it fit over extremely well. It fit over all that hair from the weave and all that hair from the extensions and it still manages to stay on my hair. When I first got the bonnet, the elastic band that's in the, in the uh, bonnet was too tight. It probably took about two weeks before it was comfortable. It was so tight that it would leave indents all around my head. I've always been told by friends and family that I have a big head, so I don't know if that really has anything to do with it. I'm also one of those people who, if you go to the store and it says like if there's a hat or a cap or something that says one size fits all, that doesn't really fit me very well. <laughs> So at first I will say that the bonnet is really fitted. So if your hair head is smaller, ideally it would be perfect for you, um, especially if you find that you have trouble with getting your bonnets to stay on. Um, of course, because the bonnets are custom made, if you had a particular issue with head size and caps and things in the past, I'm sure you could measure the circumference of your head and then give that to Crystal and then she would make sure to make sure that the uh, elastic band is not too snug for that head size. But nonetheless, the elastic band does fit all head size because it does stretch really, really wide. But as you can see, it comes in really, really small as well. And it was smaller than this when I first got it. So you definitely want to make sure that you tell her about the circumference of your head size if you think that would be an issue. So outside of the actual elastic band, um, like I said, the body of the cap is really large. So it's huge. So if you don't have your hair twisted at night and you want to put your hair up in a puff or some type of ponytail um, or pineapple, you can do that and put your cap on. Uh, you can also put your cap right over your afro and it will fit. It will fit like none other. And because this fabric is so durable, you don't have to worry about losing moisture in your hair. Also, because it's so durable, you don't have to really worry about oil all over your pillow. That is like one of the best things about this. Now, if you saturate your hair in oil, like you're doing a hot oil treatment, and you don't put a cap on, and you just put this on, of course, of course, course you're gonna have oil all over your pillow so I'm not telling you that this thing blocks oil it blocks all water from seeping through that's not what I'm saying however if you're using a normal amount of oil when you're styling your hair at night or moisturizing your hair and retwisting it at night you will see a decrease in oil on your comforter on your pillowcase on your sheets whatever you'll see a decrease in oil because it definitely holds it in like the fabric is so durable it is really good you will not have a problem with that as far as my hair like I said it definitely kept it from drying out and I love this um, bonnet I feel like it's a great quality my girlfriend sunshine has one of these as well and I've seen a lot of other people who have invested in it um, she doesn't only have bonnets she does have pillow covers or slips as she calls them and she has um, scrunchies a lot of youtubers who have longer hair like to pineapple their hair at night and they'll put it all up and instead of using an elastic scrunchie or something made out of rubber or plastic using a satin one can help to keep the moisture in your hair and also helps to eliminate that um, line that the elastic band can create in your hair when it's pulled up for too long of a time. So definitely check out her other products that she offers. Her products, I would say, considering the fabric, 
considering that they're custom made, um, not being made in a factory, and they're kind of made to order, uh, I think her prices are reasonable. I believe this exact bonnet, um, or a bonnet that's similar to this, runs for $30. She also has $25 bonnets, and I think I saw some kids' bonnets for $20, and the scrunchies go for about $3 or $4, and the slips are about $10 to $15. So depending on your budget, uh, obviously going from the the dollar store or the beauty supply store where you can get a bonnet that's made from nylon or polyester for like four or five dollars this is definitely going to be a lot more expensive but um considering how many of those you have to buy i guess it's definitely an investment so if you normally buy a new bonnet let's say every three months and it costs you about five dollars with tax and you keep it you keep this for a year or two years, you've saved money. You've saved lots of money. Um, and also, just look at the fact of how it takes care of your hair. If you're losing moisture from a, from a nylon or a polyester bonnet or a cap, and you're also getting oil all over your sheets and your pillowcases, uh, by having something like this, you're definitely taking care of your hair a lot more than you are with something like that. Um, and I guess also, I think that if you are still uncomfortable with the price, um, because this is just a review to tell you what I thought about it, but of course you have to make your own decision about whether you're going to buy something or not. I think what you could do is um, maybe make it one of those special things that you get for yourself just as a way to take care of your hair and pamper your hair. Um, it would be a great Christmas gift. We are in September and Christmas is coming up really quickly. So if you wanted this as a gift, you know, definitely share the link with your relatives or your lovers um, or friends and let them know, hey, I really would like you to get me one of these bonnets maybe you get two to last you several years um or you can get this as a gift for someone else who you know is natural who is suffering from really dry hair and doesn't really know what else to do because they're trying everything and they're still having trouble um this would be a great gift for someone it's a stocking stuffer so um i don't know if you can tell but i really really like this and I, I think that it's a great investment and I hope that you too see the value in getting something that's really made out of good quality material and um, if your budget doesn't allow for it of course I understand you can't buy it that's okay like I said maybe you can get it as a gift or maybe you can save up for it and if you still don't see the value in something like this or you just don't feel like it's worth it well then then of course that's your prerogative you, you don't have to get it <laughs> Of course, you don't have to buy anything um, just because I tell you that I like it. If that goes with anything that I review, um, if you have a great bonnet or scarf or whatever and it works fine, keep it. You don't have to go buy this, but I think that this is a great investment and I absolutely love it. And I would love to say thank you to Crystal for... Um, giving me this bonnet. Um, so I'm going to give away one of these bonnets. It's sponsored by Crystal as well. So that way someone out there who cannot afford this bonnet um, and who really wants to try it out can try it out. i love for you to like Crystal's bonnet page. It's called Florbella Boutique. The description box will have her link. Like her page. When you like her page, you need to leave this comment on her wall letting her know that you're entering the giveaway. And... Um, that's it. You don't even have to leave a comment below this video at all. No comments necessary um, as far as entering the giveaway. Of course, you can leave a comment about anything else you want. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye.